This is Logitech's newest release and latest attempt at the vertical mouse game. Muscle strain and other injuries due to overuse of computers is fairly common among home and work users. This mouse is Logitech's answer to part of the problem. They've tried to tackle this in two ways. The first and most distinctive way is by placing your palm in a more natural position, almost like that of a handshake, by placing the palm rest at a 57 degree angle to the desk. It makes the mouse look really strange yet feels ergonomic at the same time. Secondly, and similar to the MX Master 2S, there is a 4000 dpi dark field sensor which allows for less hand movement without compromising precision. The dark field bit means it can basically be used on any surface including glass or other shiny surfaces so there is no need for a mouse pad. This mouse also has really good battery life. Logitech are claiming for months but this obviously varies on your usage. They have finally changed from micro USB to USB-C and this mouse also supports fast charging which means you can get 3 hours of use with just 1 minute of charging. On the mouse you have your right and left click with a standard scroll wheel in the middle. On the other side is the battery indicator light alongside the back and forward buttons which are better laid out in my opinion than the MX Master because I don't have to retract my thumb as much. Up on top there is what Logitech officially called the cursor speed button, however I can't ever see myself wanting to vary the cursor speed regularly. So I just use it as a reprogrammable action button which can be changed within the Logitech options app which I'll come back to later. We also have this button at the bottom which we have seen for a couple of years now so you can easily change between up to three computers with just the click of a button. I do have some problems with this mouse though. For the price of this mouse it is missing some must have features in my opinion. Firstly, the scroll wheel is not the same hyper scroll wheel we have seen in the MX Master on the MX Master 2S. On the MX Master, with the press of a button, you can change between standard ratchet style and hyper fast scrolling, whereas with the MX Vertical, you're stuck with your standard ratchet style scrolling. Also, the action button is really inconveniently placed. On the MX Master, the action button lies right underneath where your thumb rests, but on the MX Vertical, you either have to take your hand off the mouse or use your other hand which defeats the purpose of the action button being on the mouse. Finally, where is the side scroll? That is something you would seriously expect on a high end premium mouse. These are hopefully some features we will see in future iterations but essentially if you gave this to your average person the only difference they would notice between this and any other mouse is the fact that it's on its side. A very expensive 57 degrees in my opinion. Look, apart from that, the one thing that does set this mouse apart from any other mouse is their application to configure it, Logitech Options. It has a really clear layout and is easy to use. It's clear they have put a lot of effort into this. After you connect your mouse by either cable, Bluetooth or Logitech Unify, which uses a coincide USB receiver, you are free to basically customise the buttons how you like. You can also have the buttons do different things in different applications. So for example, in Google Chrome I have the action button set to Mission Control, whereas in Motion I have it set to the Zoom tool. There's also a feature called Flow. As long as your computers are connected to the same network, you can move your mouse from screen to screen without having to press any buttons. You can also copy and paste files from one computer to another. This is obviously limited by the speed of your internet, but is probably faster than most other methods. Unfortunately you can't drag and drop items to each desktop and there is also a slight lag when the cursor moves from one screen to the other, however it's still a really good feature to have. On an end note, it is a good mouse with plenty more potential. Personally, I wouldn't change this mouse because my MX Master, which by the way is on Amazon for £40 right now, has more features. But if they started adding in more features in the future, then yeah, this would be a really good mouse that I would consider moving to. Anyway. I hope you really enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers.